Scoop. I'm Mallory Safaste. Tonight, police are trying to come up with suspects after five people, including four students, were shot last night at Morgan State University. One of those victims is now out of the hospital. We have live team coverage tonight from the campus where Elizabeth Worthington was getting reaction to the shooting. But let's start with Jeff Hager with the latest on the investigation. Jeff. Well, Kelly, a night filled with celebration turned into chaos when shots rang out along Argonne Drive in the very heart of campus. Her children don't even attend Morgan State University, but Pamela Jager can relate to those who do, dropping off flowers near the crime scene. I feel awful. I mean, as a parent, I can only imagine what they must be going through. It happens too often right now and you send your kids to school to be safe, and they can't even have a celebration. Five people shot, including four students between the ages of 18 and 22, all suffering non-life-threatening injuries on the heels of a homecoming event at the Murphy Fine Arts Center. The gunfire also shattered a window here at Thurgood Marshall Hall, prompting a search for a possible active shooter on campus. But the investigation is now turned towards a dispute out on the street. We know that there was at least more than one person with a weapon. The problem is the ballistics has to tell us how many guns there were that were shot. Um, we know that there was, uh, it looks like it was probably a dispute between two smaller groups. Um, and then one individual was a target of two individuals who had weapons. Police are aware of a third person who displayed a weapon, but they're not sure if he fired it. Our uh, heart aches for the entire Morgan community, especially uh, those directly impacted in their families, and we're wishing uh, for all a speedy, speedy recovery. Words of sympathy, which seemingly are not enough for residents who have grown weary of such violence. Honesty, Mayor Scott needs to do something. Stop. Stop being easy on the criminals. Stop being easy on crime. Stop saying that children are not responsible for their actions because they are. He needs to stop being a media spokesperson and stop being a mayor. Police say the man who was actually targeted was not injured, yet all of the victims were innocent bystanders. Reporting live from Morgan State University, Jeff Hager, MAR2 News. All right.